What are you holding? This is a sound post setter. How the name says already, here it's a little bit sharpened. Every luthier is making his own kind of edge here. You have the sound post, you squeeze it a little bit inside, then you actually put a little bit of water or saliva on it. <laughs> then you put it on. You don't want to cut the sound post with this one. Uh, I have here like a sound post. This is now a straw here, but you put it a little bit like this, okay? And then you have the sound post, the F hole. You go in and go like this, and then tick, tick, and here is the top here now, and then tack, 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 and then you have the sound post standing straight. And then with this end, you can go inside and, and move it a little bit on one side and the other one, yeah? So some people then use even a hammer to, to move the, the sound post. I think with this one is heavy enough and no need to hammer here with a specific other tool. So actually this for cello, I do everything with this one, yeah? Except if I want to move the sound post a little bit more inside, I don't use this one, but then I use, I put the cello on the ribs and then I go through the F holes and I put a ruler inside and make tick, tick just a little bit and I move the inside, except all the other movements I do with this one. Up, down, out, even the lower end inside I use like this, I, I, I squeeze a little bit and the sound post is moving, yeah, like this, if I have like this. So yeah. I have a story about this tool. Um, I have a student in Toulouse and she has that famous black cello a lot of you have seen on the channel. And she went to a luthier and this is a story for all of you that have, are new to this world. She went to a luthier and she came back with a, with a, with a write-up for different work to be done. And the luthier wanted to charge her 160 euro to adjust the sound post. She said the sound post wasn't correctly placed where it needs to be, which is below the left, I guess, whatever, if uh -huh. you're looking down, if you're looking down at your cello, it's, it's below that left leg if of, the, of, the, of, the, of your bridge, of your chevalet. So it was 160 euro. I saw that order and it says, mm, that's too much. Because in my experience, I know that's not necessarily so. I asked her to go to a different luthier, which she had the luxury of doing here in, uh, there in Toulouse, which saw her sand post, took this tool out, just as you just did, tick, 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 tick. It was free. From 160 euro to zero euro, which then, you know, I understand that sometimes luthiers need to make their money, but I'm going to just as a public service announcement, if you're walking into a luthier, And I've noticed this happen with other students of mine. They walk in there and you don't have an instrument of their quality. A lot of luthiers think that I'm going to have to make as much money as I can right now on this student, on this player, because they clearly don't know our world. Mm -hmm. They're coming in with an instrument that isn't of the quality. I'm pretty sure you don't do that, but I'm, uh, there are a lot of people. I don't do it, but my, on the my, other my side, I have to a little that. bit also uh, tell you a little bit a different point of view of the whole situation. Uh, if I listen to your story, I certainly, probably it was a student, cheap instrument, everything, yes. I think yes. then it's overpriced. And probably I also would do it immediately, it comes in, tuck, tuck, tuck. I, I do it also, most of the times free. On the other side, let's say yesterday my customer, um, he arrived, he even owns my violin, and he arrived with my violin, and wanted to get everything uh, set up again how it should be. I listened to the sound, it, I could tell it has been played for two years and it responded like an antique instrument. And on the other side then I started to measure and to see and then I discovered many, many small details which have been changed. And while I was doing and working in it, I was just saying, okay, Edgar here, hours and hours go in, he's first violinist, If I would now charge actually my cost of the time I dedicated for him, I have to charge five, six, seven hundred euros. Otherwise, I could not make my living with my workshop. But then and again, everything. you are personally doing this work yourself. Yes, of course. There yeah. you go. Otherwise, it's not. I cannot uh, survive otherwise. 
and it goes hours and hours and at the end of the day he went out and he was happy so it's always a question if you go in and you just want quick something I quick I can do everything if somebody stops by here I can also adjust if something is but if you are now first violinist and you have some tiny things which you want to, to we are here talking about a, a level of formula one okay you want the fine adjustment then it's becoming very expensive and actually material cost is zero it's just time experience and you have to know exactly what you do and you cannot make any mistake the musician wants to get exactly what he's asking for and that has a certain price yeah?